Uh, and I think if you do that, you we'll take Africa uh, forward and very, very fast. Absolutely, absolutely. I think we wrap it up there because of time, quite interesting conversations. See to the animals, continue with the conversation. Yeah, Safaricom is what it is today because of our customers. So we're very fortunate to have the 30 million plus customer base. This voice of the customer is then amplified through the products that we bring to the market. Whether it's our data bundles that are from the Kadogo economy to whether it's our fiber home solutions, all the area of products. So Safaricom will continue to do what it does today, which is amplify the voice of the customer, whether it's to the regulators, to other fintech players in the market. And most important, it is happy to participate in regulatory conversations. Talking about Kenya, if you look at the Kenya as an example, I, we, we are well on our way, actually ahead of very many Western countries in actually implementing uh, e-government. Uh, we've got a lot, I mean, today in Kenya, all your government services are available via one platform, e-citizen, that you're able to buy. So they've very really embraced the technology uh, uh, in terms of how that we do. The FinTech Challenge does is that we bring together African FinTech startups and it's irrespective wherever you come from in Africa, so far as your, your startup. You, you enter the challenge, we go through a process, and the top winners you know, are awarded. We give the winner seed money of $50,000 to help to expand um, their businesses. And then we take them through the, the, the mentorship um, within the, um, the, the FinTech Academy that we have set up. And what we seek to do is to get them to showcase their products. We take the one that best fits the needs of our customers at the time, and then work with them in one country to see how that product works within that country and then scale them across.